Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Maggie here from Australia. It's Sunday morning here. I wanted to do um, redo a, a video I did yesterday because um, I got a couple of comments which were really fantastic because my glasses were reflecting. Behind me here is a Roman blind. So um, outside, of course, is um, you know my back garden. But because um, the, the light is so bright, it's a big window for a small room, I closed the Roman blind. But the lighting is right above me. So that is why I um, decided to close that. And I'm going to redo this because the um, my glasses the light was reflecting on my glasses so that was quite a little bit off-putting I am I am actually going into tr um, trying another room to do some more videos but I'm just going to try this one out to see how it works so please bear with me because um, I'm not wearing my glasses so welcome here for Sunday morning I'm going to show you a couple of items two Vera Bradleys which I love and the bag I'm actually using at the moment so this is the bag I'm using at the moment it's a very light tan color with lots of fringes the brand of this bag is called Kivari K-I-V-A-R-I -I. Um, it's an Australian uh, designer brand beautiful leather um, I'll open the inside up to show you what it looks like in the and that's the you see the name that's the brand's name but the lining's gorgeous it's beautiful so I'm going to show you what's in here then I'm going to get to a couple of other things which are fabulous as well um, you know I do have a couple of favorite things of brands and Vera Bradley is one of them but just hang in there with me we'll get there so in my bag here I've got a little pouch which carries all bits and pieces my torch it's like a little torch and I won't blind you you've seen it before a little makeup mirror it's only just a purely a mirror um, USB stick some headphones which I'm not even going to pull out because I'm terrible I haven't even um, uh, untangled them because I haven't used them for a little bit so that's why next thing I have is my little makeup pouch that I actually made quite a while ago now um, and it's just got all my bits and pieces in there makeup quite handy to have that and it's small and it's soft so it fits into smaller bags you know um, I've got lots of pouches but that's the one I'm using at the moment I've got my keys here stuffed into the corner on a long lanyard which I probably don't need but you know um, they're easy to find when you just grab for the, lany the lanyard um, behind I've got some mints and some tissues and my little coin pouch with coins in them so that's because I have excess um, coins I always get excess coins this is my wallet now I'm hoping that will show up better because it's actually black it's a chameleon Philofax and a pocket size um, or I should say Philofax chameleon in the pocket size it's beautiful I don't know if you can see that clearly the pattern it's like a printed leather it's beautiful though very very soft and I did do a video last night so I'm not going to go hugely into all this but it's um, what I'm using for my wallet at the moment it's fantastic the diary in here I have mentioned the diary so this is for Mel I'm just um, explaining a few things the diary in here is a calendar diary so um, for 12 months from January to January 1st to uh, December 31st and then you buy another lot of inserts for the following year that's how it works so there um, every day of each month is in here so you can mark them off I've actually taken out the first four months because it's passed it's now April so that's why um, it's not as thick otherwise it wouldn't fit it in but this is called a, a, a diary um, but it's a calendar diary so it's 12 months worth of um, yeah, days in the year 
the dashboards now uh, I guess yeah it's hard to understand but the dashboards are primarily what I call the cardboard dividers which change which um, the dashboards like the cardboard dividers which sort of um, sit in front of each category so each area in your wallet or your diary whatever you've got um, and I've decorated each one so that's a dashboard for me now this is my version of a dashboard I don't know if it's the correct term I just call it that because it's easier separates it better than dividers so that's um, my dashboard there the cardboard thing I've decorated myself and behind that is some of my old um, diary um, pages that I've closed off now. So um, I'm just looking for another dashboard. This very front one is a dashboard, but I've got things attached to it as I showed you last night. That's actually a dashboard. Um, and that um, I've included the fly leaf, which is a plastic see-through piece. So that's a dashboard. It's just a cardboard divider, which you get usually get a set with each file effects you buy and then you decorate it if you want to um, I've got the little tabs on some of them telling you with me what areas are what um, it's probably easier to show you with my um, with my personal but I will do that in another video but I was just trying to clarify that for Mel um, that's what a, a dashboard is in my ver of my version and the diary is the 12 month calendar on pages so you can write you know like a diary would be um, but it's it's inserted in here because it's like loose leaf and you take them off the rings when the year is finished so that's my um, uh, wallet but I'm not going to go into it because I have shown that I've shown the other video um, the lighting I can't really do much about as I said but I've got a lamp over here and it's flashing a little bit I think that's the, the computer itself I'm not sure why it's doing that maybe this, something's not right um, but it's a new computer so it shouldn't have a problem so that's pretty much it in this bag I'll just pop everything back in there because now I'm going to show you something wonderful I do have um, a probably four items all up to show you but I'm not counting at the moment so there's a few anyway but these are my favorite subject apart from file effects which is one of that's there's probably two that I really love and that's the file effects which are fantastic for me and these which are Vera Bradley now this one I think now I can't be sure um, it's called Java blue I think I'm not sure but I have done a little tiny bit of research um, looking up the retired patterns and it looks like it is Java blue that's the closest I can find to it it's a little tote it's not a huge tote but it's a it's a great little tote kind of fit a huge amount into it but you know um, it's light it's beautifully made the colors are glorious if I could show you the colors more clearly it's their blues and aquas and brown um, a little bit of camel there it's just a beautiful beautiful color if you open it up it's got a um, metal clasp there that closes up and when you open it up you see in there there's actually a wallet in there which I'm going to show you in a moment in this one there is a zip behind here you see that zip? Close that up. It's quite a good size zip, this one. And then on the other side is the old Vera Bradley. And I think these, this is an old vintage style one. So these would have been made in the US. Um, I think now they make um, Vera Bradley in China. Don't quote me though, because I, but I believe that's true. Um, but these ones were originally made in the United States. So um, these were fantastic. I can't see the difference. I've looked at both because I've got ones that are more recent and I've got a couple of really old vintage ones and I can't see the difference. So they're pretty good quality. But just the fact that these are actually made in the United States would be a plus because that's where the company originally came from. I think it was... I think they were American... Uh, two women. I think they were American, but I'm not sure. Well, I think so. Um, yeah, so that's the old Vera Bradley um, tag in it. There's a pocket there, and a pocket there, and a pocket there. 
So there's three pockets on that wall and one long zipper on that wall. Now, as I said, it's, I've got a couple of big wallet, uh, big totes of Vera Bradley's. This is on the smaller side, but it still fits a fair bit into it. Um, it's just how you pack things, really. Now, the wallet is exactly the same pattern, of course. And the, the thing about Vera Bradley is whatever you get, it's sometimes the pattern placement. That's a really good match. Sometimes they don't quite match. Um, but it doesn't really matter. They are the same pattern. It's just where they've cut the material, I suppose, and where it's been sewn together. Um, this is called a zip around wallet, I think. Um, I haven't seen this this style for a long, long time, but I have got a couple of these. Um, so it just basically opens uh, this. Oh, sorry, we'll do it at the back first. This is the um, back zip which you put all your coins and change in. It's quite roomy. Beautifully soft these are. There's a big zipper, goes th around three ways, so three sides rather, to uh, this bit. So this side, it's like a brown lining with this one, which is a beautiful contrast to the quality and colour, sorry, of the um, material. This side is um, got a big open bit there for your notes or receipts or whatever. Some credit card spots, and I usually double up with my credit cards. I don't need to, well, not, they're not credit cards, they're cards. Um, I have one debit card, I don't have credit cards at all. Um, and the rest are loyalty cards and, and bank, you know, like a bank, uh, like identification, a library card, a medical card. Um, yeah, nothing like a credit card. So I double up on them and put them in here when I use this wallet. I have used it once. I haven't long had this, but I've been playing with my file effects, so I've got sidetracked. Um, it's an ID window there, a big section under there, which you could put, I have put a notebook in there, so it makes it quite useful. These are quite roomy, surprisingly, because they don't look like they've got a lot of room, but you can pack a fair bit into that and still zip it up, so it's quite good. Um, yeah, I, I, this one here, I put stamps or like small receipts or whatever that I can fit into that because it's only sort of like a small section. You could probably fit a credit card in there, a, a card in there, but I haven't tried that myself. So this is a um, zip around wallet. It also has the retractable strap, so it's a wristlet. Um, it sort of opens out from the back there. And I'll just pop that back in because I don't use it as that, but it's great to have that option if you choose to not take a handbag or a, a purse. Um, it's just nice to have that option to carry it on your wrist, so it's a little bit of safety for you. So I'm just popping that back right back in there because it does retract in, which is fantastic. So if you didn't want to use it as a as a wristlet, you just got it as a wallet. Um, that's a really good option. So that's the uh, Java Blue, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not completely sure because I can only go by what I can Google. <clears throat> and Googling this, um, there's a there's a place on, on the Very Bradley website that you can see all the retired patterns. And that's how I found this one. And I think it's Java Blue, but it's beautiful nonetheless. So that's that one. Then I have this other gorgeous one, and I'm not sure what style this bag is. I have no idea. It's fairly recent purchase. I don't know, I got this here in Australia so and the lady didn't know, she had no idea what it was actually called. Um, the closest I can see to this one is a, oh I've forgotten what it's called, I don't know. There's big zip on the outside here so that goes pretty much the length, That's big zipper there. This pattern is called folkloric. Um, it's a very very retro print, like it's almost a hippie print without saying that word. Um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful light colour. So this is a good summer one. I haven't actually used it yet and I'm going to. Um, this side has two outside pockets there. Quite deep ones because you can fit quite a big phone in there I suppose. Um, just wondering where my phone is to show you but I can't find it at the moment. Um, it's quite a deep pocket on this side and quite a deep pocket on that side. It's gorgeous. If you could, I don't know if you can see, see those colours clearly. It's really beautiful. Oh, that's a good shot. That's pretty close. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So the handles are good. Go over the shoulder really easily. It's not a problem. 
um, when you open it up it's a zipper closure so I'll just close it off and see what it looks like when it's closed because I haven't actually used it yet there you go so it's quite a firm slightly recessed zip which is fine I don't mind the this it's a glenna bag but I've got, I've got two glenna bags and I love them they're my favorite um, at the moment in Vera Bradley because they're quite roomy um, they're recessed zips they, they go down quite a bit but doesn't bother me at all you can still fit everything into it because it's the nature of the size of it now I've got a wallet to show you two in a mo. my bottom of my bag is a bit crumpled because it's been installed that's the inside of the bag it's quite big quite large this wall has a zipper so if you can see that sorry that was awkward um, quite a good size zipper that's really good for anything that you don't want rolling around in the bottom of your bag I've got to using pouches mostly some bags you can't fit many pouches in but this one you fit quite a bit in um, this other side wall has one two three open pockets and if you've seen any of my videos before you'll know that I love the organization um, of the Vera Bradley bags they're really practical so if you've got a bub like a baby or you've got um, you're a corporate person or you're just a person that likes things so you're not having them rummaging around having to rummage around in your bag looking for some things this is the bag for you all Vera Bradley bags have some sort of organization that I know of I haven't seen them all of course um, they're not available in Australia at all so I bought my most of mine have come from overseas um, from the US um, and a couple from Australia you know people have brought them back being overseas I suppose but um, yeah the base of the bag is, is has sort of got a slight cardboard feel to it but it's quite soft and mine's a bit squashed up because I've I had it folded in my uh, wardrobe but you can see it's quite a good size the, the style of the bag I don't know but I might um, I might do a little bit of research and I can always edit it and add it to the the um, video later but if you know well let me know that would be fantastic but it's a really good size bag and it's really pretty so it's called folkloric anyway that's a good everyday bag because it's got um, really strong strap straps they're not rolled straps they're flat straps but they're quite solid um, I found the rolled straps are quite strong but this one is you know I'm sure it will carry a lot so it's beautiful but anyway next thing and the last thing at this moment I'm going to show you is the wallet that matches I've had the wallet a lot longer than I had uh, since I bought the bag I think I've had the wallet a couple of years but the bag is only recent it's called a turn lock wallet for this reason primarily opens up with a little turn lock in the center to a beautiful beautiful area here and it's a glorious coral color the lining with a Vera Bradley signature so it's really pretty so you have the two ID spots here can you see that clearly it's not reflecting okay and you have a section behind here so you can put whatever then you have the six spots for uh, cards again and behind that you've got another section here I've actually got something in there what's that oh they usually come with Vera Bradley products can you see that it's a very Vera Bradley um, card oh you can't see that can you anyway trust me it's, it's a Vera Bradley card so that's that one side there the organizational side and sort of close it up then we've got the center zipper um, these are amazing wallets that's the big center zipper so you have some more card spots here uh, two open sections here which where I would put my phone and I have done um, in the past because it fits I've got a big Google phone it's a really big wall um, phone that fits beautifully in there then the other side has uh, like another section behind which is really really good <clears throat> the back section has a zip for coins and they're always quite roomy beautifully made the um, Vera Bradley um, even to the details and I have said this in past videos but look at the details on the um, the ribbon that 
is on the zip pull closure. It's got their Vera Bradley signature. They just have to, I think they've just thought of everything that's really, really becoming and pretty. That's, that's beautiful. But guys, if you can help me, I am desperately looking for a, a wallet called a sleek and chic wallet. Now, I don't know, I think there are maybe, I don't know, 17 or 18 centimeters long. I'm not quite sure. Um, and it's a trifold wallet. I don't mind the pattern. As long as anyone, if anyone can help me, that would be fantastic. Please contact me and we can inbox each other. But I'm desperately looking for one because I can't get one here. So that's pretty much all I'm really wanting in my um, collection at the moment. So if you can help, that would be fantastic. I've hope, I hope um, the video has come across as a little bit less um, annoying with the, the lighting. I have explained about the Roman blind behind me because I'm in my office which is really small and um, I'm sort of trying to organize but I will actually try to do it in another room to see if that makes a difference at all. But yeah, thanks very much for your comments. I do appreciate them because I'm trying to make it easy for everyone to watch and I want everyone to be happy um, because I enjoy doing this and I really like to catch up with people. So um, until next time, please if you have any idea where I could um, or if you even have a, um, a sleek and chic wallet for sale, please let me know. That would be fantastic. I would love to be able to get one. Until then, take care of yourselves. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.